What do you, you know about? Do you like you love social media? I do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I love social media and I love creating content and um, just being open and vulnerable and sharing my so story. Amazing. Yeah. Five kids and that cool. Yeah. Fun. Ah. I need to come from you. Okay, here we go. Yes. Tell me who you are. Tell me who you are and how you are. Amazing. Tasha Graziano and I love helping people unlock their future, unlock their full potential, helping them to step into their power, helping them to become who they're born to be. What does your morning routine look like? I wake up and I say thank you to my body and God and the world and I just really embrace that moment of gratitude until I feel it into love. So it goes from gratitude into a love rampage. Love rampage is like, I love my health, I love my body, I love my bed, I love my son, I love my family and I really dive into love. And I dive into that feeling of everything I love because when you unlock love, you unlock more things to love. So I do that and then I go outside, I walk in nature, I do 15 minutes in the sun or the rain, whatever it is, I just get outside. I either walk my son to school uh, or I just do a meditation outside or breath work depending on the day and then I begin my day. Absolutely. How do you, what's one piece of advice you could give anybody to overcome just a really shitty day? That's a great question. You know what? When you having a really shitty day do not wait until tomorrow and like okay i'll just have a sleep tonight and tomorrow will be okay the truth is that's a really good quote tomorrow will be better but how about every single hour is a new chance to mm. start again how about every single hour is a new beginning like i don't wait for new year's eve to write my new year's resolutions they can change i do them every day yeah. i do them every single day i commit every day i'm like today is my new start let's go i want to dive in i want to be a new person now and i'm not going to wait so when i have a bad day, i go outside and i do qigong like this i take my feet on the floor i literally do this and i shake my hands out it's qigong and I shake out all the energy until it's gone. And then I just give gratitude until my frequency changes. You try saying thank you for something. And after 20 times, if you don't feel better, fuck. I mean, you'll be the first person. Yeah. You'll feel better after saying thank you for my arms. Thank you for the fact I can walk. Thank yes. you for the fact yes. that I... Yeah. When you so, get to you change. Yeah, so I actually started something really cool with my kids. I call We call it the 369. So give me three things you're thankful for. Give me three things you're upset about. And give me three things that you want to say to somebody. And so that really makes them think. That's like, amazing. Yeah, it really makes them think. And, and we have them write it out. And they keep it in a journal, whatever. But when my oldest daughter, she was 11, she first started um, to make you commit suicide. Something I started with her. And it really, really helped her realize that she could have those conversations. Of, These are the three things that I feel right now that I want to say, whether they're positive or negative. Because we have such a hard time teaching our young women who are coming up that they have a voice and that they can use we're told and bred for so long to keep sweet and be quiet yeah. and that's no longer no more and so empowering them on finding your three things that are positive acknowledging maybe some things that are negative because that's what life is but look, give me three things that you want to say whether you're pissed off or you're happy or whatever such a great method yeah. so three things you're grateful for three things you want to say and then three things that are negative right now that you could change wow that's brilliant yeah. it reminds me of the 369 method by tesla yeah so you say three things in the morning three times aloud your goal what, what you want to achieve you do it three times in the morning six times at lunch and nine times before bed and when you dive in and you just own it and you just okay and when you wait one second yep Sorry, bye. Bye, baby. See you later. Are right. you going? Yes, I gotta go. Yeah, I'm out of here too. Let's catch up. Are, Make we something gotta, happen. We got it out in the day. And if you wanna come out to us in LA and you wanna sit and dive in like I do with my guys, like, yeah, we'll do something deep. We'll go in and we'll just, or I'll come to you and we'll just sit and do a thing with my breath work right. and like, yeah. You look good. So I thanks, like Leslie. Like thanks, babe. See you soon. Sorry. You're good. So when you really dive into the 369, that nine that nine at the end of the day before you go to bed, how does that? So do it nine times before you sleep, you program your subconscious mind. When you program your subconscious mind into understanding what you want rather than what you watch on TV, when you watch things on TV, it goes into your subconscious mind of whatever you're watching on TV, then you dream about it, and then you wonder why you didn't sleep well, and then the next morning you're like, fuck, I just had the time gone wrong because of what you programmed your subconscious mind to believe the night before so no you decide what you want to program your subconscious mind to so nine times before bed your goal i'm programming my subconscious mind that i want to do this i want to move here i want to live here i want to be with these people 
before I go to bed, I'm thinking about it, I'm telling you, subconscious mind, show me the solution. Show me how to get to this thing. Good night, wake right. up the next day. Why am I hitting the floor with all this energy and inspiration? Because I'm programming my subconscious yeah. mind before I go to bed. Right, and one of the one of the ways that I also learned from that, it, a different way to look at it, is basically like the, the place of which you've created the problems is not the same place of which you can solve the problems. So if we've created the problems here, in our subconscious can actually help solve the problems. Yeah. So the is actually where we unlock everything and our solutions come from because you can't solve your problems in the same energy that you created them in. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Very good. Well, yes. thank you so thank much you. for I having me. Thank you. <laughs>